North Ireland is ready to heal our hearts. Now we've arrived in Belfast and today we decided to venture outside the city and hit a couple of the spots that have been calling out to us for a while. So we are starting our day right here in the Dark Hedges. Come with us, it's gonna be fun! We start our day walking through the beautiful pathways at the Grace Hill State. Now this state is what's going to lead you to the beautiful dark hedges. Now one of the first things that you will notice as soon as you start walking the pathways is the greenery, the beautiful surroundings, and of course the Georgian mansion that was built here by James Stewart in honor of his wife Grace Lind. In 1775 so it's certainly amazing to look at the state and the immensity of it overall this is a really really nice walk and an interesting stop heading towards the dark hedges and while doing this we couldn't miss the opportunity to walk past one of the biggest tree trunks that we have seen and it certainly made us feel very tiny in comparison of the dark hedges came about in 1775 when James Stewart decided he wanted a magnificent and imposing approach on the road to his house so he decided to place 150 beech trees right along the entrance road to the state. Now as you're walking to it you will realize the immensity of them and truly how much they impose towards your size and it is because of this very reason that movies and TV shows like Games of Thrones have used them and show them all around the world. We are officially walking the pathways of the Dark Hedges. Parking was a little difficult to find. Uh, yeah, because you can't actually drive through the Dark Hedges. We had to go around it and find it, but we found it. And yeah, once it was there, we're like, ah, now we see. Uh. <laughs> but we are officially walking through this magnificent path. And I have to say, I'm very impressed. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like so many beech trees just perfectly lined. The Stewart family really, they did quite a job in the 18th century. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this are really cool. They are. I mean, you can tell that there's some gas missing, yeah. but overall, it just feels really whimsical. Yeah, it does. Uh, magical. <laughs> it, it really does. It's really nice, and you see so many people just kind of strolling through here. And overall, I highly recommend it. I really do. So yeah. if you can, like, if you have a car, you, I think the only way to get here is tour bus or car. Uh, don't get discouraged if you take a couple of turns to find the parking. Just follow the brown sign that says Dark Hedges Parking. Yeah, you'll feel a little lost because the signs disappear for a while, but just continue on going. Yes. You'll make it. <laughs> for us though, I think we're going to walk our way down and get a little cup of tea. Oh yeah. Because you may not be able to tell, but we are freezing. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go. really warm in here. Yeah, and cozy, but as much as we want to sit here and enjoy our tea and ponder upon life and our own existence, it's time that we move on. So, I wonder where we're headed. Yeah. 
Let's go! to our next stop but it does require a bit of a walk mm -hmm. we are heading to the giants causeway and you have several options so the very first option which is the easiest but also the priciest is actually coming to the giants causeways visitor center park your car but it will be 13 pounds per person now the second option is actually uh, parking at this uh, causeway car park only like a 10 minute walk away on this little trail and they charge you 10 pounds per car no matter how many people are in it. Now the third and last option, which is the free option and also the most adventurous, is that you can drive three miles in either direction. If you go east from the Giants Causeway Visitor Center, you're gonna come up to a castle and they have a free parking space there. And then you can walk the trail along the cliff all the way to the Giants Causeway, which will take you about an hour and a half, one way. way. If you go west of the causeway, you'll come up to a distillery, same thing. You can park there for free and make your hour and a half trek to the Giants Causeway. So those are the options. we have made it to the next yes except that this one is supposed to take us to the giants causeway and it does come with some cliffy views yeah. it's pretty nice though <laughs> it's really nice and you do have four trails to choose from mm -hmm. and again we decided today is middle of the road type day <laughs> so we're going with the moderate hike uh, otherwise known as the blue yeah blue trail the blue trail wow yeah so many have cows down there i know <laughs> it's it's amazing it's amazing wow i know there's so many theories as to how this was created whether it was volcano activity whether it was whatever the heck the theory is all i know is that it is so peaceful and so mesmerizing and i just i'm speechless at the beauty of this place Yeah, this is actually called the causeway down here where you see the jagged square uh, rock. It is mesmerizing. Yeah. I, you know, that is so cool though. Like, we all know the scientific reason behind this formation. It's so cool that they have folk tales. Yeah. Like, you know, about fighting giants and, you know, a single boy winning create all this. It's just kind of cool. It is actually. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I know the scientific proof, but I kind of prefer the other story. <laughs> it's really not like that high. <laughs> okay. So I stand up here, I turn around, and my first reaction is, 
Wow. Oh my god! <laughs> it is amazing. It is. From this point of view here, you kind of see all of the rock formation here and it looks like almost like from another planet it really right? does so. you kind of jump to an alternate reality in a different world yeah. <laughs> so it's it's super cool and they're sturdy everybody's just kind of walking around wow yeah. i mean i have to say this is certainly one of the highlights yes, that i have seen thus far now it looks like we're just standing still like you know having the time of our lives but the wind is strong it is. <laughs> like sometimes you're standing here and you kind of feel like you're wobbling a little because <laughs> you get some strong winds i mean they're enough to knock a full grown ass man to the ground yes. yeah so you gotta watch out whenever you do come down to this area <laughs> my arm i'm gonna hang on to this all right, so <laughs> got a little windy. Yeah, just a little bit. I felt like my arm was gonna fly off with the GoPro. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, so we have officially climbed on top of another rock formation. Another column here. Another column here, and this one actually offers us one of the best views. Not only do we get to see all this beauty, we actually get to see Scotland in the distance. Yeah. So somebody that we met earlier at our hotel. We ran into them here, and they're from uh, Belfast, and they told us that 15 miles across the canal here is Scotland. <laughs> and you, you say because it's a clear day, you can actually see it. We can it. actually, and we can. Yeah. It's uh, right there. <laughs> to make it back to the top of the hill. Now there are two options to get back up and that is to either get the shuttle bus for a pound 20 or to take the hill up, get beautiful views, but you will get super tired. For us, we decided to go with the uphill climb because we didn't have cash to pay for the shuttle bus. Otherwise, we would have caught the views nice and warm. Now we gotta keep moving. Let's go explore today. and we had an amazing time but evening is coming up on us and we figured what a better way to spend the evening than to hang around the cathedral area here in Belfast yeah. check out some of the graffiti art and just maybe get a pub what do you yeah, think I think so yeah that's how we're gonna do it and we have the beautiful cathedral right behind us hence the cathedral area <laughs> so enjoy it we're gonna go walk do it It is actually. Yeah. A lot of people always told us like uh, they enjoy Belfast more than uh, Dublin. Um, you know, it's everybody's choice, but yeah, um, Belfast does look really nice. But yes, absolutely. I, I agree with that. Yeah. I think I like them equally. <laughs> <laughs> so, with that said, I think we're going to browse a little more, see what else is available before we find a place to actually settle down and have what was supposed to be a lunch and yeah. then a late lunch and now dinner <laughs> yeah. so you know so we now we just got to accumulate all the beers we would have had throughout the day into one sitting yeah that's productive <laughs> strategic thinking <Yeah. laughs>
right in this little alleyway. That is where we're going to dine for the evening. But that also means that it's closing time for this video. Thank you so much for coming along with us today on such an adventure. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please make sure that you subscribe, like, and don't forget to click that.